Hi everyone, here is the front and back side of my deposit into the honey pot for the 2018 Build Your Stash Challenge. And you're about to see an applique that I left out of the video. Now on with the video to show its contents. Hi everybody, I'm here with um, Snuggle Bunny. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> that's my hubby, um, that's Snuggle Bunny and Honey Marie. So I am here to film my deposit into the honey pot is what I'm calling it, the, the honey pot for um, the 2018 Build Your Own Stash Challenge. So what I have here is a mix of lace, trims, uh, appliques, and doilies. Now some things that I'm going to show you don't meet the requirements for the challenge, but what I have in here does. So the things that don't meet the requirements are extra, okay? So um, I have, I think, a total of maybe 24 yards that I'm depositing. Um, I don't know how many appliques. Um, please excuse me, I'm being distracted by my fingers. They're a little gross. Okay, so um, again, if you're new, to my channel or you missed my challenge video um, I'm asking um, for subbies to help me help other crafters build their own stash now in order for you to build your stash you have to submit an entry that's how it works and um, I have several inquiries but I don't know how many will actually follow through with sending their entries so what I have here for a deposit could be extra prizes like this is actually enough for two prizes on top of what other people are submitting so I kind of want to wait this is this is going out the door I'm not keeping it this is my own personal stash this isn't anybody's entries this is mine Okay, so this came from my craft room. Um, so I want to, this is a deposit, but I want to wait to see once the um, challenge closes what I have to see if I can make this a second and a third prize. My goal is to help one to three crafters depending on the submissions that come in. Like I said, I had several inquiries, several people saying they're going to participate, but you know, life happens and you just don't know what you're going to get till after it closes. Okay, with that being said, um, I quickly want to give a shout out to Scrap and Happy XO Crafter. She's, um, for those of you that are new and don't know who she is, um, her name is Jeanette. She's from Australia. She's an amazing crafter and I think we both found each other like when we we're first starting out in the crafting world. And, um... So I wanted to give her a shout out. She just kicked off her own challenge today. Um, she's kind of doing what I'm doing, sort of. Not really. <laughs> um, she's asking for people to send her stuff, but she's keeping it. Um, but then she'll put you in for a drawing for a prize. Me, I'm asking people to send me stuff, but it's going back out the door to other crafters. And I can't help as many people as I want, but that's where you all come into play with your entries. I'll put the link down below in case you're interested in participating and trying to win some goodies in your craft room. Um, I don't want to go over the rules or anything. I'll just put the link down below. So now here's, I'm going to show you what I'm putting into the honey pot. Um, so like 98% of this is vintage. And the rest is new stuff, okay? So, um, and please don't ask me where I buy my stuff because, again, this is vintage. Some of this is from um, vendors that I buy from. Some I have no clue where the heck I got it from. And the new stuff, of course, is from my vendor, so don't ask me. Um, all right, so here is, um, um, again, I said... There's about a total of 24 yards. So this part I'm about to show you are two yard cuts. So this is cotton and these two are twins. This is vintage cotton. As you can see here, so it's in white 
and it is in a a crew color and this is actually one of my favorite favorite trims um this um i used i used to sell these three in my store actually there's some more that i'm show you that i used to sell this i um I hyperventilated when I cut this. This is honestly one of my ultimate favorite. I've had this for several years. So what I have now is just for my personal stash. And I am willing to part with it to share. Um, again, this is two yards that I'm showing you. This I thought would be perfect um, for the two yards in case you want to make um, like a, f a handmade flower. And you want to use like little dangles. But that's real tiny. It's vintage. So... All this is vintage. This right here is vintage. This is oh, this is one of my favorites too. Okay, everything that I own is my favorite. All right, just to get that clear, I don't buy anything ugly. <laughs> um. Okay, so here is a trim that I actually cut in half. This is not vintage. This is new. This is made of um, rayon, I believe. It's venice, and it's um. A double print they're like mirrored so I just basically cut it in half so that I can double my inventory of this it's real pretty and I love that you can use this to finish edges okay what else do we have here this is vintage and I love this I used to sell this and it's kind of like an uh, Ellison pretty 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 okay and here is two yards this is a venice trim it's rayon i love it and it's real pretty applique you can put a little pearl or a button you can use it as a whole trim or you can cut them out and use as individual appliques okay so that right there I think was 16 yards. Now over here is um, one yard of eyelet trim. This I this was in my vintage stuff, but I don't know if it is or not. I don't think it is. But this is rayon. It's a real pretty beige venice. This is a little tiny um, trim that you can use to finish off edges. That's vintage. That's a yard. So all this stuff right here is a yard. This is vintage. I used to sell this. I love this. It's very shabby. That's a yard. Here is a yard of these wedding appliques. So this is white and it has sequins. It has round pearls, rice pearls, and then it has metallic um, silver embroidery on it this is one of my favorites um it's a very wide trim this can be cut out into three different trims you can use the center um as appliques if you want or you can use the whole piece so there's one yard of that so you can actually get three yards out of this if you wished okay but i'm counting it as one yard Okay, and then over here is more stuff. So these are half half yard cuts. So this is the matching twin to this. This is pink, same exact pattern. Um, and this is all pink. So it's got the sequin, it's got the rice beads, and then the round pearls, absolutely beautiful. And this is half a yard. This is half a yard that you can make into a yard because it is a mirrored venice trim so you can cut this in half real pretty and um i altered these before and i put them in a kit so i cut these individual as appliques and i put a little flat back here just an idea or you can use it as it is and not cut it in half oh my god okay this hurt this hurt too besides cutting this one this hurt because I don't have a lot of this I only have a little bit and I cut this in half because I wanted to share this with you this would be so pretty to put on a little bag or a card or whatever your little mind comes to 
This one too, oh my gosh, this hurt. This is also half a yard. And I love this. This is an insertion lace. And it's got this real pretty satin ribbon. Oh, it's so pretty. It was sewed on the back because you can see the work here. Someone patiently sewed that. Okay. Now to the other stuff for the challenge. Okay, so here are these. And I can't remember if this is a, if these are left and right. Hold on. Yeah, these are left and right. So these are vintage. And these mirror each other. So I'm throwing in a pair of these. I'm throwing in one of these, this huge, huge, huge piece that would go on the on a bodice of a wedding dress. This would be pretty to put on a um, fabric book, which I have done so. Um, my second fabric book that I made, I used this on it. So you get one of those. Those That is vintage as well. These are vintage also. Um, there's five of these and it's in a very mute um, vintage pink. Very, very mute. And as you can see, this is pink. If you put these two together, you can see a color difference, see? And you'll get, f I think, five of those. Okay. And then these are doilies that I bought from the paper bag lady. Um, Julie used to sell tons and tons of um, doilies. And so I'm throwing in a package of her vintage doilies. She doesn't sell them anymore unfortunately um I'm putting these doilies in and why I put them in because you're probably saying oh how ugly if you cut out the center you can use this as a frame and then you can put a ruffled trim around it or you can leave it as it is um I have a series of bags that I altered not that far back in my videos that you can see what I did with these but I thought that would be fun for you to use and then I'm going to throw in some of these um, little appliques. Um, you can use them as little doilies or whatnot, but they're cute. So I'm going to throw in a couple of those. Um, so this is it for my honey pot entry. And I'm trying to make this at least two prizes right here, but we'll see what everything comes in. But I wanted to make this worth it for those of you that are international, you know, because I know you, you're paying a lot for postage to get to me. Um, and I only asked you for a few items just to keep your weight low and what you ship to me. So again, anybody participating, I don't keep any of your entries. Um, I welcome if you want to send me a hostess gift, but your actual entries, I don't keep at all. They're going right back out to you. And there's another really nice lady that emailed me today. Um, her name is Julie, and unfortunately, I don't remember her last name, and I don't, I don't know if she put her YouTube channel. Anyways, she emailed me. She's gonna participate, and she does not want to be included in the prize. She wants to just help me help someone. And she said if her name is drawn, because I am gonna put her name in. Um, she told me. Um, that she would like it to go out um, it, to, to redraw another name um, and she told me who she wants her prize to go to and I told her I would only do it if that person um, submits because she she did um, the person she wants to win her prize um, is actually entering my challenge who is international <laughs> Um, if you're watching, if you're international watching, if that person submits and um, this person, Julie, um, if she wins, she wants that person to win her prize, which I'm okay with only if she enters. If she doesn't enter, then um, Julie is okay with me picking a totally different person, okay? So I just want to be honest there, and I told her to put in a note in her package to remind me of that because um, I think there's more than one Julie I think there's three, I think there's two Julies or three Julies or two Julies and one Jewel. Um, so I told her, please put a note in 
in case all three of them enter, then I, I won't get confused. Okay, so I'm almost at 15 minutes, so I'm going to end it here. Good luck, everybody. If you have any questions, inbox me or comment on the original video. Bye.